Yo, what the fuck is up, guys? It's Mr. Simon back here today with another troll video on the Xbox, and I accidentally just typed in the wrong goddamn chat trying to sell a sword. I know it's overpriced, I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking, but I tried doing the forward slash FOV and I messed up. So, today we're inside of United Air World grinding my ass off because, as you can see, we are on our way to 10k boxes. In just the last two days, I got over 2,700 boxes, which is insane. Been on the grind, but who gives a shit? But as you guys already know, there has been a couple glitches in the game lately because since they've added this new update and if you guys haven't caught up with the live stream that happened friday i'm gonna go over just a few things inside of it that um you know might be interesting to you or might actually help you out so as you guys already know there are new dragon fragments that you can get and basically you get all new dragons which um a lot of people have been buying a lot of shadow caches just to make sure that you get all the fragments out of those i heard that people open up like tens of thousands and barely just got enough fragments so that's gonna cost a lot of flux and a lot of grind just to get all the shadow caches for that one fragment but um, also, there's other fragments you get from mining, like uh, you get from sunlight bulbs, harvesting sunlight bulbs. Um, there's no one you get from, I guess, mining ore. Maybe, I think it's just straight infinium. I don't remember. Oh my god, people over there. Ew. All right, we gotta go in the complete opposite direction. But, speaking of ore, I am actually going for a top 250 infinium mine. I'm 277 right now. I'll definitely be able to hold up because uh, I'm inside the air world. And a lot of infinium actually spawns here, which is actually really good. Even if I see some like out in the distance, like way over there, I will go out of my way and go get it because I want top 250. I haven't gotten top 250 in probably a couple months, maybe even since March. And I think it's time that I start going for it. Could have went for blocks destroyed, but I'm like maybe top 1000 right now just because I do a lot of dungeons. And as you can see right here, I'm just going to blow through a fuck ton of bombs. But that's not what we're worrying about. We're worrying about infinium mine because I basically get it anyways just from farming Unite Air. But... Otherwise, so basically, they talked about in the live stream that they're actually going to make the fragments a lot easier to get. So if you guys are farming fragments, uh, doing all this shit, like putting a lot of hours in and getting nothing, like Doge put like 10 hours in just to get one fragment and got nothing. So if you guys are putting a lot of hours in, just hold off and wait for a hot fix, in my opinion. Like, you don't need the dragons right away. As of right now, just stock up some dragon coins um, in case, like, you know, you see a cooler dragon with better stats, whatever one, uh, different one than you're, the one that you're going for. So I'll uh, do a little bit of research on the dragons and then wait, like, an, they say like a week or two until the hot fix actually comes out and they will make the dragon fragments a lot easier to get. Kid, you were going to my fucking dungeon? Is that what I see? Are you going to my large dungeon? All right, we got we got to haul ass and finish this up real quick, just so I can get over there. And okay, of course I literally one hit a boss every single time, but the one time I'm in a rush and need to kill off this boss, I don't one hit it. Fucking rest in peace, my will to live. Jesus Christ. All right. And by the way, I actually went through and saw. Am I cheating if I fuck my dog? All right, you know what? We're not going to fucking read that. Uh, all right, so as you guys can see, I actually put on a Magic Find Physical Damage Ring. So now we have 2,208 Magic Find, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I had a Physical Damage Ring with Crit Hit on it for the longest time on this class. And I was like, wait a second. If I don't need Crit Hit, and I'm also on a Shadow Hunter where Crit Hit doesn't really matter, then why the fuck am I not rocking, you know, Magic Find? So now I got an extra 142 Magic Find just in that one ring alone because I do have Patron, which doubles it, which is really cool. But anyways, in the news, today... Guys, there uh, has been a glitch that has been actually found out since this new update came out, but you can actually get a pink name in the game. Now, when this was brought up to the game devs in the live stream, they did not really know anything about it, but they did know that it was a glitch, and they are going to take it out of the game. But basically, I don't really know much about it, but I'm pretty sure to get it, all you have to do is make a new account, which, you know, basically pointless for, you know, us players. But you have to make a new account, and uh, I guess when you're inside the tutorial world or something like that, you will have a pink name if you talk in chat, talk in global chat, or talk in world chat. Now... I have global chat off because it gives me complete aids. Every time I open it, it's just literally awful. So I have it off 9% of the day, or actually, you know, 100% of the time. Um, I'm really happy I turned it off. I'm really glad I found out how to turn it off because it is actually legitimate cancer. Just from people either spamming it or people just asking for cares or being annoying as fuck, just had to get rid of it. But um, if you guys don't know how to do that, you can go into your settings and you can just leave global chat. It's honestly the best thing in the world, unless you actually need it to find groups or sell something, you know. But that's what trade chat's for, and that's also what clubs are for as well. But anyways, so back to the pink name. Now, I don't really have a screenshot of it or what it would look like because I've never seen this. But it is a confirmed glitch and Trine is going to patch it. So if you guys want to mess around with it a little bit, I guess all you have to do is make a new account, basically. Go on Microsoft, make a new account. Now, if you do have Xbox Live on uh, account, let's say I have an Xbox Live on my, my Mr. Snowman account. So I have gold on this. If you do make another account, as long as you're signed in or have it as your home Xbox, you will have gold on that account as well. So there you go. A little Easter egg, how to get free gold. I think everybody knew about that, though, for a long time. But that's basically how you do that, especially if you want to run an alternate account. But it's kind of useless to do that now because uh, what people used to do 
is obviously go and grind Titan Souls inside the Shadow Tower every week, and then get the Titan Treasures and open them up for extra flux. But as you guys already know, the Titan Treasures have gotten nerfed to absolute shit. My controller just died, rest in peace, but they've gotten nerfed to absolute shit to the point where it's completely or er, completely pointless to even use them now. So when I do end up getting all the Titan Souls I need, and I uh, get all of the uh, mounts, or not mounts, I guess it's just allies and like flags and shit like that, inside of the Shadow Tower, then I'm probably just going to skip my Titan Souls in case there's like a future update where I'm going to need them or something like that. Odds are I'm never going to end up spending them on actual Titan Chests because they're literally pointless to have. And I want to go completely as far away from that group as possible because fuck that. But yeah, back to the pink name thing. So uh, I haven't really seen it. So if you guys do end up doing this glitch and then, uh, you know, checking it out for yourself, make sure you send a screenshot to my Garantag and I'll show it off in a different video. Give you a little shout out as well. And then also, guys, I do not have the dragon coins right now, but tomorrow we get another brand new dragon. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, you saw I got a diamond dragon egg. So it took 400 dragon coins right there, but we're on our way to 300 dragon coins. And your boy Joden, 1991, I'm pretty sure it's 1991, actually hooked us up with the materials that we need for a specific dragon. Not going to release any of that information, but I will go over that tomorrow and the stats of it, what it looks like, and what are my opinions on it. And it's going to be very, very badass. Very excited for that, and it's going to be absolutely lit. But that's for tomorrow. So as for today, we're just talking about the glitches, the live stream, and all that good shit as well that comes along with that. Now... Try and live stream. It's 3:30 p.m. Uh, my time, so I know it's a lot of. Yeah, it's a kind of like an inconvenient time. A lot of you kids out there that get out of school, that's like you literally just got out of school, literally just got home, and you're already halfway through the live stream. And you're like, wow, I already missed all the good shit. But basically, you didn't really miss much. They just talk about glitches. Um, they are not actually making the dreadnought fight easier. Now, plenty of people have complained about this, and even myself have complained about this. Like, I'm an end game player with an end game shadow hunter and an end game gunslinger, and hard. Uh, hard 5 and 6 is actually harder than Alt 1 and 2, believe it or not. Like, that's absolute cancer. The Dreadnought fight is a complete pain in the ass. The daughter has too much health. Dreadnought has too much health. And especially if you have a tank. Like, I guess it's not, like, too difficult to Dreadnought. But you do need a decent tank that has a lot of health and a lot of experience as a tank. And you also need to know, obviously, when you get towards the end of the fight, you have to get out of the blast radius because it does have the ultimate ability where it shoots a nuke down and kills everything in the area, no matter if you have flasks or not. Like, it's just a one-hit. But basically, towards the end of the fight, um, when everyone's out of their flask, when everyone's out of their ultimate abilities, it's a gigantic pain in the ass because, oh my god, perfect time for that to fucking go off. But it's a gigantic pain in the ass. Um, basically, what I did find out is if you guys are playing, like, a gunslinger or another class that relies on this ultimate ability, like the pirate captain, oh my god, I gotta wait and talk about this in a second. Alright, now that shit's finally over with. That lasted like, a good five minutes, Jesus Christ. But, for those characters that do rely on their ultimate abilities, like, uh, the Chloromaster doesn't really matter. But your class is like, um, what is it? Let's say Pirate Captain, Gunslinger, or anything like that. Uh, any other ultimate isn't really necessary, I guess, for a boss fight. Uh, obviously, the Shadow Hunters is pretty nice as well. But uh, actually, what you can use is a Valorous Vile. Now, um, obviously, in the beginning, you're going to want... Uh, I don't even need that to find, honestly. So I would just say Rock Valorous Vile because your tank should be drawing all you know damage, all aggro from the boss, and you shouldn't have to worry a single bit about it. So if you have a good tank, that's what it'll do, especially if you have a Revenant because the Revenant actually has its LT ability, which draws all aggro, and the uh, when you have a Clash Gem for the Revenant, you can actually spam that as many times as you want. It has like a two-second cooldown, which is absolutely insane, and the aggro lasts like three or four seconds. Or if you have a Candy Barb, you can hold your RB and lure him. Uh, I guess you can't leave him out of the middle, but you can like you know draw his aggro. You can be the only one next to him, and he'll only be attacking you. Yes, we finally got our own large dungeon to ourselves. How beautiful. And I'm also going up for 2 million blocks destroyed. I'm very, very close to that. I think I'm at like 1.9 million right now. I just got to log on for 240 days consecutive a couple of days ago, which gave me 750 cubits. So hopefully this time I get something a little bit better because, uh, you know, 2 million blocks destroyed is kind of a big deal. So that's a lot of blocks destroyed. But anyway, so um, anyways, use the Valorous Vial because you do get your flask back pretty quickly. As you, If you guys don't know what that is, that's what I actually have right now equipped. That's what I always run you 9 with because if I do need a flask every once in a while, whether it's for damage to kill uh, a 3-star boss or if it's just straight up to just kill a bunch of mobs quickly or to even give myself health, it comes back very quickly. I'll use, an, I'll use one right now and then spam this. Um, basically how it works is... Uh, every time you hit a crit, you have a chance to get one back. Already got back. It's been like three seconds. Look at that. But um, it does have a cooldown as well. I think it's like every 10 to 15 seconds as well. I already went over this in another video. But I got, I actually got that gifted to me when I first started YouTube. Probably like, like back in February. This guy gave it to me. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. I got my first flask ever. And I thought it was really cool. And this flask actually helps out a lot. Because when you get in big boss fights... 
but big boss fights like that, you actually don't need death to find because that's what your tank is for. The tank um, can either use Bandolier, you know, you get more flasks if he has a lot of tanky abilities, or he can use death defying as well in case he slips up, isn't paying attention to his health, and just gets fucked up. But uh, for you main DPS guys, highly, highly suggest Valor's Vile or Chaos Vile as well, but once again, it doesn't really matter. I just, you know, I, I honestly prefer using the Valor's Vile because you have a literally infinite amount of them. And the boss fight, if you don't have a lot of DPS, will go on for a long time. So that's just something, that's just a little tip from the swan himself. But yeah, so hope that, hope that helped you guys out. If you did miss the live stream, hope that I gave you guys a little bit of information about it and helped you out a little bit. But uh, yeah, if you're going for the fragments, highly, highly suggest you just wait another week or two and then go for them. Nobody should be in a rush. Uh, I know you guys want the new dragons, but if you really want new dragons that bad, spend money on the golden eff effigies, whatever the fuck they're absolutely called, and then just get a bunch of dragons that way. But if I were to get those, odds are I'd get a dragon that I can craft, like the neon dragon or the ancient dragon or something like that, which would give me absolute aids. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on outside? Is there a purge or something? Like, what the hell? Come on. I'm, try I'm trying to record. It's 1030 at night. I'm trying to record. God damn. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, as always, hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot. Get up getting a lot of likes lately. It means the world to me. So thank you guys so much for that. So, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Trove daily content every single day. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. And stay frosty, everybody.